Welcome back to our life on an island. Last time, ten rim crabs joined us, so now we just have an army of crabs running around. You left a lot of good name suggestions, so I decided on Mr. Krabs. Whoops, that one's female. Claudia. Claudia. Krabby. Kingler. Crab rave. Rave. Dr. Zoidberg. And I was going to name this one the Fresh Pinch of Bel Air, but I have only enough room for the Fresh Pinch, so I just have to live with that. Will Smith would be proud. Next, I have to bring power downstairs, because ultimately I want to move all their lodgings downstairs. It's far safer down here, and I could make the upstairs be entirely for security and prisoner holding. Afterward, we'll need to dig deep. So I'm starting with a steel power transmitter column, and this should bring power above and below. Now, There'll be more over time, but I'm just hoping that we'll luck out on some steel as we go. That's good, Undugu. Just build that steel power transfer column, and... Great. Before much else, I want to make sure that we get power transmitted between levels. And we can't really go out on this quest, unfortunately. And I can't believe I almost forgot this in my playthrough. From the beginning, it had been my goal to create a banana republic. And that's what belongs here. Now we're really upping our recruitment chances with Flamingo. We want to get him to join ASAP, because he's a good miner. And he also has the undergrounder trait. And he's a fantastic miner, just as good as Undugu. And he's also evil. And if that didn't seem like a lot of tasks, we also need to start surveying underground for steel and components. Although it looks like only coral, I'm sure there's got to be some deeper down here. And we can always go to deeper levels if we don't find anything at first. Uh, our banana farm has begun, and we have a blight on the heel root. Ooh, that hurts. We just lost all of our heel root. Now, lest it taint the bananas. Ooh, this should be satisfying to see. Yes, yes, do it. Oh, good. Good. Save them. Save them. Ah, huzzah, the blight is gone. Next, we can start to expand our coral wall to encompass more of the island. Claim more land. Ah, it's starting to remind me more and more of Cuba. I love Cuba. The next trick will be to add shelves so that the room doesn't get so ugly. And that way we can efficiently cut stone blocks without having to go up and down the stairs all the time. After an absurd amount of resistance lowering, Flamingo's perhaps ready to join us soon. We can reinstall our horseshoes pin at a safer location, and our crabs can make love in peace. Krabby has been fertilized. Who is the father? Hell if I know. There they go, off to crab sleep. Only some of them use. Why do they not... Okay, they should all go to bed. Sleep wherever you're comfortable. Carb and Dr. Zoidberg are really getting along. Ooh, their eggs have been fertilized. I've never had to care for rim crab eggs. They'll need a crab barn. Okay, some sort of lean-to out here. And we could just wall in those eggs. Put on a wooden door. Wow, raising crabs. I never thought I'd see the day. And we'll set this the preferred spot for eggs. Animal eggs. Never thought I'd see the day. I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a father. Two crabs. Make that three. My newest problem is the unbelievable amount of dirt. But we must be doing something right if our new war is one on dirt and not against raiders. I'm also fighting a war on nudity. So we're going to need some cotton plants. A jade meteorite has struck the earth in the middle of the ocean. Now jade is a wonderful material. It can skyrocket mood boosts and make everyone completely happy in your colony. But it would also skyrocket our wealth, which is rising daily with the growing crab population. So I'm content to leave the jade there for a while until a trader comes along until then coral is fine well i think it's time to give pex what he's always wanted he's a transhumanist and he feels limited in his feeble human body now the only thing that he will take that's not going to be so debilitating would be installing a denture a wooden jaw don't ask me why he's just always going to be upset if he doesn't have this and so i'll do it out of love well that's weird it can't happen unless if there's herbal medicine nearby and for that, he needs to be on the lower floor for it to be sensed. All right, just someone do this at some point. We'll set up a new shelf for herbal medicine. All right, Pex, are you ready? Scalpel, sponge, wooden jaw. Hopefully this won't kill him. I just want him to be happy. Well, let me just clean up the operating room. There we go. Clean, clean it up, clean it up. All the sand off the floor. There, much better. Continue the operation. And there we go. He's going to be happy. And he's pleased about his body part. Now two out of three of my colonists are happy. The other one needs pants. And she's jealous. And Undugu's finally had some luck. Compacted steel underground. We can use this. 
Hopefully it will open up a vein, and we can find even more of this stuff. Yes, that was right, there is more behind. Now, although it's rare when you do find it, usually there's a lot of it. Uh, more spacecraft landed nearby. In the lagoon. Oh, more frab- I almost lost these crab eggs. Why are these crabs trying to abort their children? Krabby didn't want her child. I'll save it. I'll save it. You're- I'll adopt your crabs. Even if Krabby can't have you. Now, crabs eat vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, and kibble. So I think Devil's Claw leaves work in that, too. And I'm gonna make an area for them to store them. I don't want my crabs having their children out in the open. Keep my crabs safe and home. A crab barn. It's just wacky enough to work. Let these crabs eat. Let these crabs fuck. Let them be happy. There they go, there they go, eating the- Please eat them. I mean, it's special for you. Come home, my crabs. Come home like the prodigal son. We finally have a crab farm. Oh, they're loving it here, they're loving it. Yes, fall in love here. Kingler and crab rave. Ah, and they can just eat off the coconut trees. Well, that's quite fortunate. We'll grow them even more coconut trees for crab meals. Eh, we can't do- eh, never mind. All right. Just, you're on your own, crabs. Now, armed with enough steel, we can transmit it power downstairs. And I've set Undugu off to do some cleaning. Next, he should start his research. And we'll also put in a lamp just to make sure that the power is set up right. And it looks like the power is transmitting from the upstairs, so we can get light downstairs. Which should help combat some of those undergrounder statuses, you know? Like, they won't be tired or upset if they're in the dark. And great, we're finishing off our research on batteries and we'll have sustainable power. I'd also like a light in here eventually. Or really just to move the entire research operation somewhere else. There we go. Much better. Have some light by which to study Undugu. The next thing I really want is microelectronics. It's pretty much a game breaker. And we've had good enough relations that we could have some traders come in. Now as time goes on, I'm going to start to move operations underground. So for me, that means wider hallways and eventually bedrooms for our our colonists downstairs. I just like the look and feel of it. You don't have to agree with me. And this is more or less the structure that we'll go for. It's going to be like Hoth from Star Wars. Pretty much a snow base, except it's all coral. Upstairs will eventually just be to fend off raiders. And raise my crabs. Shit, my crabs are running out of food. They don't eat devil's call- Damn these crabs. Will they at least eat bananas? Will my crabs go hungry? Ah, uh, shame. My crabs eat neither devil's claw leaves nor bananas. What else will whet their appetite? Okay, crabs be free. Crabs be free. Like a ranch. We've almost completely shattered the resistance of Flamingo. And we're being raided by the Nabo World Accord. These people have guns. Guns and knives. But they're terrible shots and bad at melee. So in the words of Eminem, I'm not afraid. Do your worst, Nabo World Tribe. Pex and I and our, are armed to the teeth. We will destroy you. So sealing back in my crabs, we'll assume the position of defense. And cower in the doorway. And they veered off to the side. I honestly think we could start a shootout with these guys though. And probably win just out on the beaches. Here we go, Myel. And come on, Pex. Ooh, Pex's right arm is really screwed up, but... He is also not wearing a shirt and he's been shot twice. Okay, you've got to back out of this one, buddy. He is really screwed up. This guy does have a flak jacket. Okay, we got a hit in. Death in 17 hours. Undugu might want to retreat here. Pex desperately needs emergency treatment. Okay, Krondorfor, just stand by. He's bleeding out. Okay, he'll make it. It's just... I don't want Undugu to get shot. Otherwise, we'll be relying on spike traps for defense. And they might kill my crabs and set fire to my fields. Well, Undugu's managed to avoid getting shot. Ooh, fuck. Mm. I should not have said that. Okay, Undugu, run back. He's been shot. He keeps getting shot in the kidneys. This is really not good for your kidneys. Okay, crabs, get back to the safe space. I want all crabs on security force duty. Subdue this bandit. They're beginning their assault. Well, if they do die, we get a good revolver. And a sheep wool bowler hat. I dare you to get past my crap. No, don't set fire, don't set fire. Oh, shit. I, I can't really do anything about it, but... Yeah, okay, ooh. No, okay, the fresh pinch. Okay, great. No, don't get on my roof. They're on the roof just doing something. Okay, and they are fleeing. And good. Okay, he is, uh, just gone. We'll have to put out that fire. Pratt, I don't like you. You're going to die in three hours and you're very badly maimed, so hope you had a nice life. Ah, uh, our people are safe and Krondorfer is putting out the fire. Thank you, Krondorfer. You have earned your place in our colony. I was wrong about you. I was wrong. Crabs back to Birdland. Oh, yes, teamwork makes dreams work. We lost half the medicine, but we saved the bananas. Mm, yes, good, my people, good. 
Save our far- whatever it is, our resort. There we go. Well done, well done, team. And Undugu gets a good revolver. And Undugu also gets dinner. As well as a flak jacket. That's- that's pretty nice. Ah, the food network. And Krondorfer will also be less upset by wearing tainted clothing than being naked. And so I stand by it. Well, Krondorfer's almost completely reduced the resistance of Flamingo, so I'd say he's just about ready to join us. And a wanderer has joined, an herbworld rebel named Sergeant. We're getting up near the maximum number- he's a- Another bowler-hatted guy coming out of the ocean. Okay, he's good at construction! I hate his traits. Okay, well, at least he'll just do construction. He'll- he'll- he'll pretty much just do that all the time. Hey, not everybody comes in with a bowler hat. And if he doesn't fit in, there are other ways of disposing with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next, we'll start to build out a power room. A place we can store our batteries. And we can give Sarge our first underground bedroom. There he goes. And we'll see if this conflicts with the upstairs. He got a normal quality bed. And yes, we're finally getting recruitment on Flamingo. All of the resistance is gone. It's taken a long ass time. And another rare thrombos. I prefer the term expendable and also expensive. Finally, a mining partner. And we could add batteries to our shit show. Transport pod crash. That's a lot of colonists at once. This gentleman's a hard worker, night owl, and an optimist. Incapable of caring. Not particularly good at anything, but this is a nice trait. And so is this. If I can't save him, I can eat him. Welcome aboard, lad. Frondorfer, go save him. And will he expire? Will he expire? Three hours? Three hours? He is not doing well. Okay, just save him right here on the spot if you can. He got cut on the neck and tore- Ooh, he's addicted to alcohol. Not such a bad addiction, though. He has an itchy stab scar. Maybe he could pull through. I want him in my life. I hope that he joins us. And the batteries are charging. Ah, uh, now this I find a more suitable habitation. Oh, I didn't even notice this baby rim crabs. Now we have one, two, three, four, Five, six. You have six more rim crabs. They're adorable. Uh, looking upstairs, it appears that Houston has decided to join. Houston is thankful that you rescued him. <coughs> Houston is thankful that you rescued him. He has decided that he would rather stay than leave and is joining your colony. I hope nobody's angry at us instead. Well, now we are literally the AA support group. He's addicted to alcohol. And we don't have any beer, so... We have these underground meetings that will have to suffice. Okay, if he recovers, that would be wonderful. He's in good hands here. He's in good hands. And we got a party going on with Krondorfer. Didn't picture her as the partying type, but okay. Okay, she's throwing a party at the fire. And Houston has it one beer. <laughs> He's contributing. I guess that's his last one. That's actually quite sad. No, he had four left. All right, all right. We'll just force him to throw away the rest. Okay, we need to just slowly wean him off of this. I haven't dealt with an addiction in a while. Okay, he feels better. All right. I guess we could just condone it for a long... For a while, for a while, anyway. Oh, we recruited Flamingo. Exactly what I wanted. Now, this guy is a fantastic miner, and I need him to be with us. Great, wonderful, wonderful. Now we can practically just have a specialized miner. And he also... Also happens to be a fairly decent doctor as well. So I'm just gonna assign him permanently to mining. And down in the deep, we're gonna start our new home down here. We have three excellent miners at our side. And I think we can practically just move the entire colony underground, except for the crab farm and the ri uh, and all of the power. Obviously, that'll need to stay up here. Ooh, a plague on the crabs. Nevertheless, we can now delete all of this stockpile zone from the hallways and make our new rooms into the actual stockpile zones. That and give people bedrooms down here. I don't think it's going to harm them so badly just to be in the darkness for a while. We can light it up and they shouldn't be underground too long that they get the undergrounder debuff. Just in general, I think it's more secure too. Up here, they're kind of exposed to attack. And we have a heat wave, an unusually bad event. This is why we need to start cooling down our underground. I anticipated that this would happen and I wanted to insulate us from the temperature. So let's just fill the entire floor with passive coolers and one for each bedroom. For now, it's the best we can do. And much as expected, it seems to be cooler downstairs. It's 102 degrees Fahrenheit up here, but when we go down the stairs, it's 81 and 76 in the room, so... I don't know if I should attribute this to the passive cooler upstairs and if temperature transfers in that way, but... Maybe we have a little bit more insulation downstairs? Hard to say, hard to say. Now it's 122 degrees above ground, and even in the house it's 118. But below ground, it's still 63 to 77, so I definitely say that we have a better- either better insulation or it's just the passive cooler is taking over. One or the other, though, we're safer under here, so. Now, Houston might go crazy. He's experiencing the massive 
pain of an alcohol withdrawal. And I think he drank all the alcohol. And we've got most of our colony underground at this point. It's just Krondorfer, really just Krondorfer is sleeping upstairs. They don't move furniture very well between floors. So I'm okay with that. She was going to snap anyway. Let her have a catharsis and feel good. She's hot. Now we have three minor break risks. One due to alcohol withdrawal, one due to heat stroke, and one due to not having any pants. I need to take care of my people. And a daze. She was jealous of Sergeant's bedroom. Underground. Okay, Pex, you know what to do. Help her. Good. Good, just bring her back with love. Okay, we will rescue you from yourself. Well, this is awkward. It turns out that we can't actually rescue her between levels. Every time I try to bring her downstairs, she just gets stuck in this infinite loop. So we need her to just weather this horrible, inhospitable condition upstairs. No, can he take her? Oh, he- in fact, he can. I stand corrected. Well, this is a funny happenstance. And she'll recover from heat stroke. Very good, very good. An addiction council is passing by. Sammy Garador. I wonder what he's good at. Maybe he can help us. And a tortoise is self-tamed to birdland with you. Join the crabs. And we can finally get more power going down here. For some reason, I don't think that the energy is transferring from the upper floor. I'm creating power up here and trying to send it down to the batteries, but they just don't seem to be linking right up. So, this is the best I can do. And we're being raided by the devils again. These people hate us. Still only one guy. I'm at the second hardest difficulty. I don't know why Randy doesn't kill me more, but I've questioned him in the past to my own failures, so I won't do it again. Well, I'm sending everyone to the defense this time. All of you can get drafted. Prepare to die, Bob. Stop, criminal scum. We'll just hide in the trees and shoot him in the face. Everyone's in position, everyone's in position. Okay, shoot him in the face. Great job, Pete. Good. Oh, wow, All none of those shots hit. Great, we've hit Bob with a, ooh, in the right lung and the torso. Well done, well done, people. Well done. Wow, we're gonna need some training. We're gonna need some real training here. A flamingo has decided to join us. Okay, to Birdland. It's, there's a lot of danger right here, though. And Flamingo has ironically been shot right here. No, oh, we didn't even get to eat him. All right, my people. Okay, just uh, go back to your lives. Well, right now I'm playing on Blood and Dust, but maybe I should turn it up to the most difficult difficulty. I don't like playing on it because I'll get sent diseases more often, but you know, let's just wait till some terrible shit happens. Anyway, we have uh, a really decent underground setup now. And I'd say that we're ready to start specializing in duties, we're- not duties. Yeah, duties! Not like doo-doo duties, but like duty, like, you know, jobs. Uh, so now, um, it's time to divvy up the tasks next time. I think we can get some actual research going now. We'll probably put on Dugu up to that. Ooh, uh, he's doctoring now, though. Um, and then after that, and after that, our colony is full speed ahead. I, I don't see anything limiting us anymore, it's just organizing and... Well, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this Island Paradise playthrough as much as I am. I'm glad that we struck metal because I was worried that wouldn't happen, but uh, it did. So there's supposed to also be components down here and cross your fingers for that because we got a long ways to go, but uh, I'm, I'm liking the way it's going. And the uh, animals are pretty unexpected, but fun too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, give me some more animal names. I gotta name more rim crabs. I gotta name a flamingo and what well, we have a tortoise now too. So yeah, leave that down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.